to probe or not to probe the age-old question today i'm testing that in a previous video i showed you guys what the normal pallet probe does today i'm going to show you guys what the pin probe does watch this today i'm going to focus primarily on the jsb knockouts and the h and n25 grainers and specifically with the pin probe that i've inserted so this is a two-in-one video first and foremost i want to see what is the effect of the pin probe in the gun does it in increase the speed yes or no and by how much and then secondly which of these two is going to be give me the best results at 30 meters welcome to part one of knockout versus h and n the reason i'm shooting this one in two parts there will actually be more is the fact that i'm going to shoot this one without the pin probe and then on part two i'm going to chase the speed a little bit up i'm going to add the pin probe and then we'll see where it goes from there setting one That was some impressive shooting at around about 975 feet a second. These wasn't my best groupings at all. Yet, some improvement there. But the weirdest thing is the difference in speed. I've thought that the pin probe would be a lot faster out of the barrel than the normal pallet probe, but the opposite happened. The pin probe only caught up at maximum power. This can be due to the fact that the KOs are 0.216s. It's also a cup base. There's a lot of air is lost on the sides where the pin probe pushes a lot of the air to the sides and not to the middle like a normal pellet probe. Let's see what they do with the flat base HNNs. Next up, HNNs, 25 grainers, 217s. Same settings as the knockouts. Pin probe, the whole scenario, let's have a ripple. That was at a thousand feet a second. I'll post the results just now, then I'll compare the two. And again, lesson learned today, harmonics plays a massive role. The H&Ns enjoyed the higher speed a lot more than the knockouts, but this can be because the are two one sevens, and they actually retain a lot of the air a lot better than the two one six knockouts. Interesting to see in the speed check as well, that the H&Ns didn't have that big a difference between the pin probe and the normal probe but here from setting four onwards it opened up with a 25 feet per second spread at maximum power this is more in line with my expectations of what the pin probe should do the hns enjoyed the pin probe a lot more than a jsb i don't know if this huge spread is just because of 0.4 of a grain in the weight between the two i don't think so i think it's got more with the design where the h and n is more of a cone base in the back and they retain a lot better air as well as the fact that the h and n's are 217s versus the knockouts only 216s this was a fun experiment for me to do subscribe like i'll see you guys in the next one I guess that the world has moved on